Attack helicopters are specialized military aircraft designed for offensive combat missions. They carry powerful weapons like machine guns, rockets, missiles, and are essential for modern military operations as they can engage targets in difficult terrain. And today, we will compare two of these helicopters, US's AH-64 Apache and India's light combat helicopter Prachand. The Apache, produced by Boeing, is one of the most battle-tested and widely used attack helicopters in the world. First introduced in the 1980s, it has proven its effectiveness in numerous combat scenarios worldwide. On the other hand, the Prachand, developed by Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, is a lightweight, agile helicopter built for high-altitude operations, making it ideal for mountainous regions like the Himalayas. Let's talk about the size and weight first. The Apache is a longer helicopter at 17.8 meters, yet it has a lighter empty weight of 5,352 kilograms, its rotor span is 14.7 meters, and it stands 3.9 meters tall, reflecting its versatile design suited for various terrains. In contrast, the Prachand is shorter at 15.8 meters but significantly heavier, with an empty weight of 8,500 kilograms, its reinforced design is optimized for high-altitude operations. It stands taller at 4.7 meters with a slightly smaller rotor span of 13.3 meters. While the Apache's lighter frame makes it more agile, the Prachand focuses on stability in challenging, high-altitude environments. The Apache wins this section for versatility. When we talk about engine performance, the Apache is powered by two General Electric T700 GE701C turboshaft engines, each delivering a higher output of 1,890 horsepower. This greater power allows the Apache to achieve higher speeds and handle heavier payloads. On the other hand, the Prachand is equipped with two HAL Turbomeca Shakti turboshaft engines, each producing 1,430 horsepower. These engines are designed to be efficient and reliable, making them suitable for operations in mountainous regions. In terms of sheer power output, the Apache takes the lead due to its stronger engines, which enable it to carry more payload and fly faster. Coming to speed and range, the Apache boasts a top speed of 295 km per hour, making it one of the fastest combat helicopters in its class. This speed enables it to quickly maneuver in and out of combat zones. However, when it comes to range, it has a maximum operational distance of 480 km. On the other hand, the Prachand, while slightly slower with a top speed of 280 km per hour, performs impressively with a longer operational range of up to 700 km. Its superior range makes it more versatile in long-range missions, particularly in difficult environments like the Himalayas. While the Apache wins in speed, the Prachand is the winner in terms of range, making it better suited for long-distance operations. Talking about payload capacity and weapons, the Apache has a payload capacity of approximately 725 kilograms of external ordnance, enabling it to carry a wide array of weapons. It is armed with a 30mm 230 chain gun that fires up to 625 rounds per minute, up to 16 AGM-114 Hellfire missiles for armored targets, Hydra-70 rocket pods for close air support, and AIM-92 Stinger missiles for air-to-air -air engagements. This versatile loadout makes the Apache capable of handling various combat roles, from ground attack to air defense. On the other hand, the Prachand, with a payload capacity of about 700 kilograms, is similarly equipped. It features a 20mm-621 cannon in a chin turret, MBDA Mistral missiles for air-to-air -air combat, and Helena anti-tank guided missiles for engaging armored vehicles. Additionally, it can be armed with DRDO Rudram-1 anti-radiation missiles to target enemy radar systems and rocket pods for close air support. While both helicopters are well armed, the Apache slightly edges out the Prachand in terms of overall versatility due to its proven combat weapon systems. When we talk about armor and protection, the Apache is known for its robust armor, designed to protect the crew and critical systems from small arms fire and shrapnel. The cockpit is reinforced with bulletproof glass, and the helicopter is equipped with advanced defensive systems, including radar and infrared jamming equipment. The Apache's durability is further enhanced by its ability to survive hits from 23M rounds, a feature that has been proven in various combat environments. On the other hand, 
The Prachand also has strong protective features, especially considering its design for high-altitude operations. It uses lightweight armor that protects the cockpit and vital systems while keeping the overall weight manageable. The Prashan's armor is complemented by advanced defensive systems, including radar warning receivers, laser warning receivers, and chaff and flare dispensers. These systems help detect and evade enemy missiles and radar, enhancing the helicopter's survivability in hostile environments. While both helicopters are well protected, the Apache's more battle-proven armor gives it an edge in survivability. Let's talk about the cockpit design and ergonomics. The Apache cockpit is renowned for its ergonomic design and advanced targeting systems. The Apache's cockpit also features multifunction displays, but it is particularly known for its integrated helmet and display sighting system, which allows pilots to aim weapons by simply looking at the target. On the other hand, the Prachand features a modern, all-glass cockpit, which means that most controls and displays are digital rather than analog. The use of helmet-mounted sights allows the crew to aim weapons and control systems more intuitively, improving reaction time during engagements. Visibility from the cockpit is optimized for high-altitude operations, ensuring that pilots have a clear view of the terrain. While both cockpits are advanced, the Apache's system is more combat-proven, giving it a slight advantage. When we talk about reconnaissance and surveillance, the Apache is equipped with the ANAPG-78 Longbow Radar, which provides it with a 360-degree view of the battlefield and the ability to detect, classify, and prioritize up to 128 targets simultaneously. Additionally, it is equipped with day and night vision systems, including FLIR, that allow it to perform reconnaissance missions in all weather conditions. On the other hand, the Prachand is designed with a strong focus on reconnaissance. It is equipped with forward-looking infrared systems, a TV camera, and a laser rangefinder and designator. These systems allow the LCH to detect, identify, and track targets over long distances. The digital cockpit of the LCH further integrates these systems, allowing the crew to share real-time data with ground forces and other allied units. In terms of battlefield awareness, the Apache wins due to its superior radar capabilities. When we talk about cost, the Apache is significantly more expensive, with each unit costing approximately $35 to $50 million depending on the configuration and specific systems included. The Prachand, on the other hand, is relatively more affordable, with an estimated cost of around $16 million per unit. This cost can potentially decrease if larger quantities are ordered or produced, making the Prachand a cost-effective option for countries. In terms of cost, the Prachand wins, offering advanced capabilities at a lower price. In summary, both the LCH Prachand and AH-64 Apache are powerful attack helicopters, each with its own strengths. The Apache excels in versatility, firepower, and global combat experience and the LCH Prachand is designed specifically for high-altitude operations, offering advanced technology and excellent performance in challenging environments like the Himalayas. Which helicopter do you think has the edge in modern combat scenarios? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for today's comparison, make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more defense updates and comparisons, see you in the next video.